Hey everyone and welcome to my 18th Patreon funded how to video. This month I'm going to show you how to spruce up all your old hand knits with one simple trick using stuff from around the house. Um, what I have here at the moment is an old jumper that I knit a few years ago which is completely covered in bobbles. It's just bobbles everywhere really and what I'm going to do is show you how to use a simple um, pumice stone to get rid of all those bobbles and to, to renew your old jumpers to make them look almost as good as new again. Now I know that there are an awful lot of bobble remover things that you can actually get in shops and that kind of stuff that are, are made specifically for removing them from your own hand knits. You get them in yarn shops and things like that and to be honest I've used a few of them and I've never found them to be all that effective. At worst they actually damage the fabric or at best they're just sort of polishing the bobbles and leaving them where they are and you know you're no better off but I found a, a basic pumice stone is absolutely fantastic for the job. Now the one I have here has a little handle on it but if you have any of the usual traditional tear shaped ones at home they work just as well. Artificial or natural pumice seem to work pretty much uh, the same so if all you can find are the artificial ones in your uh, local chemist or pharmacy that should be fine as well. So here we go we've got our old sad jumper here that I'm going to remove all the bubbles from so all you need is a nice flat table to start with really and to flatten out the section that you're looking to work from and then on your pumice stone I find if you use the corner you're way better off than if you use the flat surface itself so all you really have to do after that is to draw it in the direction of your knitting or your crochet and simply take it and start scratching it down like you're brushing a dog really and as you're doing that, you'll actually find that all the bobbles themselves slowly loosen after a few goes and will actually be removed immediately from the fabric thereafter. So, uh, so there you go. I hope you do try it. Have a route around in your own bathroom and see if you can find a straight pumice stone that you can use on your own hand knits. And remember, videos like this are only made possible with your help. So please do visit my Patreon page and consider making a pledge. Thanks a million for watching and I'll see you next month.